hi guys i look a little busted right now please forgive me i'm doing like what i call in my head like a maintenance day where i'm just getting everything i need to get done done um and that's included a lot of assignments because spring break is over <laughs> um but i'm still at home i'm not getting dressed today um so sorry about it i wanted to do a little bit of an intro just to say i'm so sorry i didn't upload last week i was fully intending to but i woke up the day i was gonna film my video and my laptop had fallen off my bed and my screen shattered i could film the video but i wasn't gonna be able to edit it it was gonna be a thing um yeah so sorry about that but i'm here and i'm here with a vlog that i'm really excited about and you get to see k ah I'm so excited. I love Kay. We're her besties. So I'm so glad that they got to come and be on the channel. Um, and I'm really glad that they wanted to. So shout out to Kay, who I love with my whole heart. I had so many books to donate. So I really wanted to do a little free library like vlog. That is what we're doing today. I feel like I have one more thing I wanted to say. Yes. Um, somehow, even though I didn't upload for like two weeks, I have 150 subscribers now. So thank you so much for that. If you're new here, hi, I'd love if you introduce yourself in the comments. If you don't want to, that's fine too. But if you want to, I'd love to get to know you. Thank you so much for that. That means a lot to me. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into the vlog and enjoy that. Um, and then I am going to be back in an outro to show you what I got. Hi. Say hi. Hi guys. Okay, so today I'm with my bestie Kay. Um, as previously featured on this channel before, uh, not in person, but just via your book taste. <laughs> um, and today we're gonna go a little free library hunting. I have, I'm not joking, three tote bags <laughs> full of books back there to donate. So I put the little free library app on my phone and it shows you like all the locations of the places. I have so many books to get rid of. So <laughs> hopefully we will find somewhere that has a good book for one of us to take i would love if both of us could get free books that'd be awesome i'm gonna put the the first place in and we'll see what fate has in store for us today all right we've arrived at our first um place but it's in front of someone's house so i feel a little bit awkward but okay let's go look at the selection and then i'll grab some books based on the selection oh what is that thing Oh, Eva dry to keep them dry. That's so cute. All right. Chelsea Handler. <laughs> Debbie Macumber. Okay. What is this? Just poetry? Just a big poetry collection? All right. Lots of kids. Oh, the giving tree. Oh, that's a good one. The giving tree. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think I'm going to throw some YA in here and then maybe one of the books that my mom gave me because she gave me a bunch of like therapy psychology books. All right, Kay's gonna get The Giving Tree and then I'm putting these ones in here. Sandra Brown, which my mom gave me to put in here. I have Tell Me Again How Crush Should Feel, which is a YA uh, lesbian book and I love making people gay. And then I have An Illusion of Thieves, which is a random fantasy book that I got in like a, like a blind date thing, but I don't think I wanna read it, so. All right. Thank you, Little Free Library. All right, guys, we're getting our first look. This one seems promising. So let's go see what's in there. And then I will once again gauge the books. I will be leaving. Let's see. All right, let's see. Wow. All right, some James Patterson, The Girl on the Train. We were just talking about that book. Um, to All the Boys I've Loved Before. This is a really recent book of the month pick, like from last month. <laughs> um my first i can read book oh okay great stuff in here um what is this oh oh it's a guest book we have to sign the guest book we've signed the guest book i'm debating taking peach blossom string but it's just because it looks so beautiful and it's a new book of the month this girl on the train honestly is nice it's like a hardcover but it doesn't have the dust jacket big fan of that james patterson michael connelly maybe one of i have to look at these maybe i can take one for my mom but i got four books for this one a good selection um i have georgia peaches and other forbidden fruit this one's kind of bad it's like water damaged i dropped it in my pool but whatever um 
It's kind of a funny story by Ned Vizzini. I loved this book. It's so floppy and fun. <laughs> um, let's see. 5050 by James Patterson. My mom gave this to me. <laughs> and Helping Your Anxious Child, second edition. Yeah, we're gonna leave this here. <laughs> Will it fit? Yes, okay. All right, thank you, little free library. Whoa, this one's packed. Yes. All right. Whoa, oh there's so much stuff in here. Rocks. Oh my God. This one's cool. There's a lot of stuff in here. All right. All right. I'm trying to be discreet because this guy is fully home. Um, but I'm not going to take anything from this one except this bookmark that they have. But I am going to put some stuff in here. So let me go grab some stuff from the car. Okay. I'm trying to be quick because people are like pulling up all around us right now. But I'm putting in Written in the Stars because there's not a big romance selection in here. And then I'm also putting in <laughs> the FBI way that my mom gave me because that seems like a, a, it would be a popular choice if I could get room in here. Okay, we just pulled <laughs> we just pulled up to our next one and Kay is freaking out because they have gnome houses. They have little houses for gnomes. <laughs> so let's, we're gonna go look at it. All right, this one might actually be the most adorable one we've seen thus far, but it doesn't, I don't know about the book selection. Let's, uh, let's unlock it and see what we got. All right, there's so many Bibles. <laughs> I think this is um, the find of the day. <laughs> it's a double-sided Niall Horan, Harry Styles biography. <laughs> I love it, it's perfect. Oh my God. Okay, I'm not grabbing anything, but Kay, <laughs> Kay is getting the, the One Direction biography. Um, I'm gonna go grab some books to stick in here. We're getting rid of The Inexplicable Logic of Life, which is Benjamin Ellery Sands's lesser known novel that I never read. <laughs> um, oh, can I get it in here? Yeah. Um, the Miseducation of Cameron Post. I read it, I liked it, I don't need it anymore. And The Wave, which is a true story, um, and it's full of trauma. So, <laughs> there we go. All right, close it back up. Say bye to the gnomes. The gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, so the last one we went to was right around the block and it was kids books only. So we couldn't, we didn't take anything or leave anything. But this one is so cute because it's so well organized. There's a kids book one and there's an adult book one and there's a book box. So you can tell that these people are really dedicated to this. Isn't it so cool? Let's go take a look. This one is the, mo the most full Little Free Library I've ever seen in my life. Look at this. Oh my God, and look, there's, there's like little business cards that you can use as bookmarks. The library, the Little Free Library mobile. Oh my God. This is the best one. <laughs> okay, so. I found two books, finally. Um, I'm gonna get this one for my mom because it sounds like a Law and, Law and Order episode and I think she'd love it. And then I found this really good edition of Becoming by Michelle Obama. So <laughs> I'm gonna get it. It's like, this is heavy. Fire. <laughs> All right, uh, let's put some in the Dropbox because this is like the best one in Bento, so. <laughs> Made like a big thud. We just pulled up to this one and I'm looking through the books and I pull up this one by Victoria Schwab. Is this V.E. Schwab? Is this V.E. Schwab? What is happening? Did she bury her past as a dark children's writer? What is this? <laughs> okay, so we just put some books in this little free library because it needed some zhuzhing. So I stuck in The Black Flamingo and The Gravity of Us but I just looked and I only have four more books left. So we're gonna go to one near my house. Um, that's in like a park, that's usually pretty good. So we're gonna head to that one now. All right, we are at the final Little Free Library of the day. I just ate some Wendy's and um, we're gonna see. We're gonna see, I already see, oh, I see a historical romance. All right, let's see. 
Nora Roberts. Okay. What else we got going on in here? Oh, this one's pretty packed, actually. Okay, so I have taken Magnus Chase, the first Magnus Chase book, and I'm about to stock it with a bunch of books. The only thing is, I have a book called Heretics Anonymous that I want to put in the little free library near the church at my house, because I think that'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna stack this one. So I have, they both die at the end, and I have What If It's Us and its sequel. So some lucky TikTok girly is gonna be very happy when they come to this little free library. All right, we did it. Oh fuck, what did I knock over? <laughs> Great stuff. All right. Hello, it's me in the outro. I'm pretty sure you saw most of what I got already. I ended up with four books that I took with me. Um, two of them were for my mom. My mom, shout out to her. She has like been breezing through books for the past month. So I'm just like enabling her. The books I got for myself, the first one was this really nice, beautiful edition of Becoming by Michelle Obama. I've always kind of tottered on the edge of wanting to read this but I never have so I figured you know what if I can get it for free and have it in my collection like why not look at this the original price on this is $32.50 that is so much money this is a really nice edition and the library we got this from was the one that was like huge and they have like stamped it and oh, so cute and the woman who owns that library, it was her and her daughter who who do it. Um, she actually came out and talked to us and she was so sweet and so nice. So um, that was awesome to talk to her. I will definitely be heading back there, but yeah, this was my pick. This thing's a freaking brick, it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> the last book I got was another one that I've been debating. I didn't really wanna buy it, but I was sort of interested in reading it. Um, so I saw this and I just picked it up because I figured why not. I am going to do a reread, like a whole reread of the Percy Jackson series, the entire thing. Percy Jackson and the Olympians and the Heroes of Olympus and the Trials of Apollo. I've actually never read any of the Trials of Apollo books, but I'm going to reread all of the Percy Jackson books. So I figured I would pick up Magnus Chase. This is the first Magnus Chase book. Um, yeah. I'm excited. I've heard great, amazing things about this. And obviously, Rick Gordon is an icon and a legend. So, yeah. I'm excited about this. Um, who was this dedicated to? No, I'm having flashbacks. Why is the dedication on this? To Cassandra Clare. Thanks for letting me share the excellent name Magnus. I can't. Guys. <laughs> I have the whole Mortal Instruments series um, still on my shelves because I was incredibly attached. I read them in like seventh grade, I think, and I loved them. Um, actually, Alec was like the first character I ever read that was like, he's like me. That's less cringy, I think, than the Shadowhunters TV issue. <laughs> Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I made Vine edits. I made Shadowhunters TV Vine edits. You can unsubscribe if you want. I completely understand. Anyway, that's off topic. Magnus Chase. That was my other book. So thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for being here again. 150 of you. What the fuck? <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm so excited to keep doing with this with you guys. And my video next week, it's going to be a banger. I'm just saying. Um, so stick around for that. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right. Thanks for being here. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Obama. Obama. Soda. Was that our last stop? Oh, shit. Ow. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is why we need to redo this because I'd be fucking shit up.